down on deadbeat property owners, City Council is voting on three new ordinances tomorrow. If passed, they would mean stiffer penalties for those who neglect their homes. News on 6 reporter Chris Wright is live with the new details. Chris? Jennifer, the city says it's sick of properties like this one here, abandoned, full of overgrown weeds, grass that's way too tall, and believes that these new ordinances will finally give them the tools they need to track down those owners. Rosita Ellis keeps her lawn mowed and her flower bed tidy, but her home is surrounded by vacant, run-down properties. What is it like living across the street from that? It's horrible, especially if... With the business I have, I do alterations in dressmaking, so I have people to come by, and this is what they see in my neighborhood. Mayor Bartlett chose this neighborhood to announce his proposed quality of life ordinances. But these are like a cancer. They spread throughout neighborhoods. They allow debris to accumulate. They uh, eventually result in people leaving neighborhoods. The first ordinance is aimed at vacant buildings. Owners of these properties cited for violations will have to provide liability insurance and a plan for demolishing or fixing the property. Particularly for those uh, irresponsible property owners, uh, particularly those who uh, have investment property, uh, we want them to be responsible citizens and responsible property owners. The second ordinance would replace the city's property maintenance code. Homeowners would be required to take care of attractive nuisances. That includes things like building fences around swimming pools and removing graffiti. The third ordinance would give inspectors more power to crack down on repeat offenders. The mayor believes these changes are needed to save neighborhoods. Property taxes go down. Neighborhoods dwindle. Uh, the, the life and, and fabric and uh, lifeblood of a city, its neighborhoods, are put in jeopardy. Failure to obey the new rules could result in stiff consequences. The maximum penalty is a fine of $1,000 a day and six months in jail. Now, city leaders say that Tulsa has more than 10,000 vacant properties. Under these new ordinances, if they are approved tomorrow, owners of those properties would have to provide contact information to the city if they choose to move out of the state. Chris Wright, the News on 6 tonight.